Monkeylanders.com, do a buy. Mr. Lee, man, welcome to the channel. These originally come with 260 horsepower from factory. Yeah, the gentleman's agreement. Okay, but maybe a smidgen, Could, yeah. a smidgen over. Obviously up front, we've got the renowned 4G63, very famous motor. Low boost is 420. 420, yeah. Cool number. <laughs> <laughs> On high boost, you're 510. Uh, yeah, fully forged, manly rods, Wiseco pistons. You got HKS cams, yeah. HKS pulleys. Yeah. And then you've got springs and, and upgraded retainers as yeah. well. Nice, yeah. man. So there's quite a few little bits going on the uh, on the internals. Yes. It's no show queen, this car, but you use it. You actually daily it. I use it on a daily basis, People think yeah. you're probably mad. I think it's really cool you daily it. You have put a lot of money into the right place. You've got some quite high quality parts on this. Yeah, I just wanted it to be reliable. And at this power, you need them items, don't you? Yeah, cool. You've got my favorite filter, Blitz SUS. Yep. Obviously stainless steel, got those lovely sort of metal intake noises. Quite a sizable intake going into the turbo as well. What's that like? Three, three and a half? I believe it's about four inch down to oh, three. four inch. Okay, it's got a reducer. It necks down, yeah. yeah. Bottom end has all been lightened and balanced. He's also got ACL race bearings and ARP main studs. We've got a Gates um, timing belt, which is a slightly sort of stronger, more robust timing belt. Inside the head, we've got GT262 cams and titanium valves and retainers. Rally R engine mount. Turbo is an HPB from Owen Developments. And I noticed as well, Coyo Rad, is it from an Evo? Evo 5 or 6. And that basically just moves the, the outlet basically away from the, where it, from the manifold. Got a big yeah. manifold now. Yeah. Yeah. Who makes this manifold? Folds. It's a JMF manifold. JMF, okay, looks pretty, pretty cool. No catalytic converter, and it's three inch uh, turbo back. Yeah. Pretty interesting as well. I've noticed a lot of people running these cool packs. These are actually from a Toyota uh, Yaris. Yeah, Yaris, yeah. Which is mad to think that little Yaris's you can run these cool packs and have absolutely no problems. But they're quite a yeah. cheap sort of alternative, aren't they? They're extremely cheap. We've got an HKS SSQV blower valve, which gives that real sort of iconic like chirping noise. Oil catch can, obviously bigger breathers coming out of the heads. Yep. Forge and taking that to coolant reservoir. Yeah, and a power steering reservoir next to it. Yeah, very, very cool. Intake manifold is stock. I guess they're actually not so restrictive on these, and plus you're not running like mental horsepower. I guess if you're running like 800, whatever, you probably need to change the intake manifold. Yeah. And the front mount was actually, is it made by o OBX? OBX, okay. We've got an aftermarket oil cooler hiding in there. You guys can't see it, but it is. Sort of sandwiched in there. Casco strut brakes, I like these, man. Fueling side, I can see we've got an AEM fuel rail. What size are the injectors? ID 1000s. Okay, so I can see you've got a little gauge in. Taking you've got an adjustable fuel pressure rig. Where's yeah, that? Yeah, it's hidden back there on oh, the I see. firewall. Fuel pumps at Aeromotive 340. Okay, nice. And uh, I forgot to say, also got a Tommy baffled sump. Ah, uh, sick. So basically, just to kind of uh, stop the keep the oil around the pickup and yeah, stop, stop it. any slosh. Spotted down here as well. You've actually got an uh, actuate, so it's not external wastegate. It's no, it's in, not internal wastegate. Turbo Smart. Oh, nice. Other cheeky little bits, obviously things like braided lines, nice AN fittings here on the head, and we've got things like auto barn um, coolant hoses. Lee was telling me as well, this is actually off a, what's it off a DC? DC2. DC2, yeah. so you've got some Honda bits on this, bro. Got some Honda bits, And mate. you actually got, uh, we won't go too much into it, you've got a K20 Jazz. Yes. Which we're gonna definitely get on the channel. Yes. 100% let us know if you wanna see Lee's mental jazz. On the chassis side, Lee, obviously these, I mean, even from factory, they handle real mint these. Like yeah. you said, I had that one in the Pyrenees, and my mate was tapping out. He said he'd never been in, uh, and we didn't even know the roads. <laughs> and these things are just so forgiving, and obviously I had yes. them big brakes on it. I've just, honestly, I've never driven a car, even like with the R30, like I had that big horsepower R32, but mm -hmm. it will bite you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've got oh, yeah. to be almost a little bit sympathetic with it. With the Evos, you can just literally, literally send it. Literally nail it, it's yeah, unreal. It is Round mad. the bends, it's unreal. Yeah, they are savage. And then coilovers, you've got... Meister R coilovers. Which are quite new, so you've got them like four, four months, four months ago. ago. Yeah. Okay, fair play. Wheels, are they Buddy Club P1s? Buddy Club P1s, but the QF version. Okay. So qualify first, it stands for. Are they, li are they lighter? They're the forged version. 
Ah, so yeah, they are lighter. They're, sick, man. Nice wheels. they're as light as a set of CE28s, basically. Fair play. Brake calipers are the original stock Brembo's. Yeah. And then yeah. you've got J, J hook? J hook discs. discs on the front, on the back are black diamonds, just cut and grooved. Grooved ones, okay. And then tyres are like a sort of um, performance road tyre. They're Michelin. Michelin PS4. PS4, Pilot Sport 4s, cool. I'm liking your wind deflectors as well. OEM. Very cool. OEM. Very JDMs. This is actually just a replica of the original bonnet, but in carbon fibre. Yeah. You've got a lot of carbon on this, Lee. You've got carbon boot, carbon wing, spats down here, diffuser at the back, yeah. And then front bumper is actually quite spicy. It's a C West bumper. C West front bumper. Which is yeah. a nice bit of kit there, quite pricey. Ganador mirrors which now are just unbelievably i mean these are what a bag of sand if you can buy them yeah if you can find them crazy basically. well i just found these awesome gloves where did you, where did you get these bro these are sick monkey london oh mate i know that monkey london guy he's a bit of a legend i've heard it monkeylondon.com do a buy and rally art evo 9 seats this is obviously an evo 7 so these are, these are the slightly later seats three gauges here what what are they for three from left to right is Boost, oil pressure and oil temp. Okay, just so you can kind of keep an eye, eye on what's going yeah, on. Yeah. And that shifter looks quite span, span dangly. Cool works. Solid mounted to the car rather than sitting on little rubber bushes. Yeah. Um, Have you got stock gearbox? Stock uh, five speed box in this. And yeah. what, what can these boxes, I mean I've had a few Evos, but I've never run sort of more than like four or five hundred brake. Are they, are they good for the horsepower I take it? Well yeah, I've been driving this for three years, nine months now no problem. at 500 brake and still on the same gearbox, Fair still play. on the same transfer box, still on the same clutch. Yeah, I'm taking it all things like the differentials and the AYC system is as it left the, as the factory. As it left the factory, yeah. Okay. And you've got a keys racing wheel as well. You know I love my keys racing wheels, man. Yeah, you have to have one. And flat bottom. Flat bottom keys yeah, racing, cool, yeah. And leather as well. I've got like an Alcantara one, which is cool, but they, they do wear down over time. What's the mileage on the car? 98. 98 uh, miles? Yeah. Yeah, 98,000 okay. miles. Not bad mileage, if you think. And then what year is this? Uh, 2002. Which actually is 10 years old. 20 years old. I'm f***ing stupid. <laughs> you can tell I've got a D and G C S E maths, can't you? you? You wouldn't sell it? No, it's no, your no, it's your baby. no, Yeah, it's my dream car. From the day Norris Design took his Evo 8 to Santa Fe. Santa Pod. I see that, I was behind it. I was like, I, I need one of them. They were very sort of notorious back in the day, weren't yeah, they? 15 yeah, 15 years later, I bought it, and the first thing I'd done was took it to Norris Design and said, just make it safe. A lot of people really sort of harp over the, the sixes now. Do you know what? I'm actually going to say one of my favourite Evos. I really like the, the 7s, the 8s and the 9s. Mm -hmm. They're really cool, and I like the sixes, but I like the 1s and the 2s. The 1s and the 2s. My first Evo I ever touched was an Evo 3. Oh, they're cool, but that's when they got they started to look a lot more like rally yeah, it cars. Started to get a bit beefier. Whereas the ones and twos, like they they were just look like a stock Lancer. If anyone's got a one or a two and they want to do a review out there, or if they want to sell me one, I've been looking one for ages. And where have you come from today, Lee? Dunstable. Oh, Dunstable, cool man. So big up the Dunstable, massive. Yeah. And feel free to chuck any comments down below and let us know where you're tuning in from today. Before we go as well, I'm actually running uh, two competitions at the moment. Your Mrs. Kirsty, mm -hmm. absolute legend. She's actually bought two tickets for the. Project 2000 raffle. We're actually giving away the original Project 2000 Max Power demo car. I'm going to put a little link down here to my website. Make sure you check it out. £100 a ticket, there's only 500 entries, and we send £70 worth of merch with your order. Stuff like this. Wow. <laughs> it's not a shameless plug. So I actually gave these to Kirsty and Lee on their first ticket, and I think I've still got a package or second ticket. Okay. Um, but yeah, happy days. You get some awesome merch. And if you want to let me know on an email what you want, we're giving away hoodies and caps and all sorts of stuff. So feel free to get in touch. But I'm also doing a, a giveaway as well. Only 185 entries. You can win a two day drift experience with me and the PH Drift Academy. A mate of mine called Yogi has got a really cool drift academy, basically teaching the science of drifting. And you can come with us for two days. You can get um, full tuition over the two days. And, and if you kind of do well enough, I'm going to bring the JZX. You can actually drive the JZX as well, as long as you don't crash it. Anyway, hopefully that gives you a nice little technical explanation of Lee's car. I think a lot of you were saying it's quite, quite nice to go into a bit more detail and kind of build up to the John action. You trust John? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust John either. A nice turbo sports. I really do like them um, Blitz SUSs. You just get a, something about a metal intake just gives it a real like, nice metallic sound. Blitz, if you're watching, come on, <laughs> sponsor me, yeah? I'm like bigging up all your, and Keys Racing, they don't even know, yeah? I've sold the amount of people, I'm not saying you did, but the amount of people that have bought Keys Racing Series for the cinema of my cars. I'm telling you now, I've made them a fortune. 
Keith Racing, please, I love you. If anyone in Japan is watching, can you tell Keith Racing that I'm a boss? Please. <laughs> they'll be like, they'll watch my video and be like, nah, guys, need you. You were saying recently the, the screen's like cracked across, but I'm taking it, they're hard to get screens for them, and they're yeah. they bucks. Yeah. Like big money. Yeah, very much. It's the only kind of maybe issue with a slightly rarer car like this. I'd have to get a second hand one. We've got a little straight, so we'll just do a little cheeky second and third near pull just to see what it's all about. That's 420 horsepower. Nice. Yeah, that feels really rapid. It's a linear map as well, so nice delivery. all the way through it keeps pulling. Yeah. The higher in the rev range you go, the harder it pulls. Yeah, so it's more like a nat naturally aspirated pump, yeah, basically. Yeah, like massive lag. When, when, does, when does boost kind of kick in? Boost starts coming in at 2,500 rev. Oh, nice man. It's super, super responsive. Super I guess that turbo's big, but it's not like stupidly big. Like no, where. turn anti-lag on, and it's like um, a supercharger, like it's basically. It's 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 Five minutes later. The intercooler pipes just come off the um, intake manifold. A few moments later. Sorted. So yeah, big up uh, Northfields for helping us out. Couple of gorgeous girls as well. Tell them next car dealer they said. <laughs> Such a lovely sound this as well. Because I think with Evos, when they're a bit sort of stockish and you haven't got cans, mm -hmm. they are very. I mean they are a four pot, but they sound very. They're a little bit flat. A little bit sort of. They are. You know. A bit yeah. As soon as you get like a nice system on them and a bigger type and a set of cams, it really brings the sound alive. I yeah. think they don't have that sort of quite that sort of you know flat sound anymore. They sound a bit more sort of like you know like rally cars. Yeah. Earlier on, people said, Oh, what's that man? And it's really, really sick. So it's just, yeah, oh, 
I want an Evo. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't change a, a thing on this car. You don't even need 600 brake in this. the best job in the world isn't it meeting wonderful people <laughs> like you and getting to drive these absolutely sick cars i would say i'm getting paid for it but my youtube is really i get like a month it's crazy which you can't live off so please buy my merch this is great <laughs> this isn't my merch this is actually origin lab i'm actually sponsored by absolutely it's a drift shop but um yeah i'm actually going to do a little vlog later on or tomorrow actually when i go to bristol to meet my new painter um, just to kind of explain a bit about my algorithm and how you guys can kind of help keep the content coming. But um, yeah, story for another day. Eight and vortex generators, like the carbon things on the top. And yeah, you can, some of them come as standard. But yeah, yeah. You can just buy them and put them on. Yeah, of course. Like, man. There's no real difference between a seven, eight, and nine. Yeah. Apart from, in my eyes, the front end. Well, what was interesting as well, really in Japan, the main ones were like the GSRs, but in the UK, later down the line, you had all the FQs. Is it? Am I right in saying it stood for quick? Yeah. That's actually what it stood for. Yeah. Okay. And they did like a FQ three hundred. 320 or 340? No, was that 320? Yeah, 320. It was 340, 360, and a 400, which was sick. A massive thanks for coming down, man. Really, I like your top, top guy. I think we gelled well, really, really nicely. And um, yeah, I love what you're about. Love the car. And um, yeah, I really can't fault it. Fantastic. Appreciate it. Yeah. As I always say, if you guys want to get involved in the channel and get your car on for a review, check out monkeylondon.com. And please consider my Patreon, like I said last time, $3 a month to help me kind of release more content and keep this madness coming. I think Lee will tell you it ain't a 10 minute job, this is it's a lot involved. It's a, it's a long day out. It's a good few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Massive thanks to Mr. Lee. I'm going to chuck his Instagram down here. So you guys want to give him a cheeky follow and follow the progress of his build, feel free. I'm sure he'd love a, a few followers. I'll get a wide angle lens as well next time. Love you guys very much and we look forward to seeing you soon. Two got the go, three some of now. I got the two got the we got the go. The different one, the different sending is not on the show. I'm a shop on the touch him up and let go. Just suck it now. Let them be the light road show. Let the little just and see you know what it will flow. Turn the list when she can stay just to take off on so. Some the days in the fish to get the hot more more. Just suck it now. This time it's gonna be the light road show. Some the days in the fish to get this all road show. Channel the scissors.
the truth is the dark old soul. The DJs in the place, don't get the hot promo. Gunners up.